Lord, everybody. God bless you, Pastor Fields, Agape Worldwide Ministry, Springfield, Virginia. We greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord have made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. And so we're just thankful for all the things that he has done. Great is the Lord, and he's uh, greatly to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Amen, old song. Amen. Jonathan Greer, I don't know if y'all remember that from Atlanta. Amen. He's worthy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Great is the Lord, and he's worthy to be praised. Y'all know if y'all remember that. Amen. Uh, old Rob Scarab tried to teach that to them many years ago. Amen. We did that song. Amen. So we thank God for you today, and God is worthy to be praised no matter what's going on happening in your life today. Amen. We're coming together as a people of God. Amen. To pray. He declared that if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then shall I hear from heaven. It's out a little bit too far. I shall forgive their sin and I'll heal the land. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a little bit better. All right. Drop my phone. Amen. But we thank God for you being with us today. We're going to talk about being together today. Amen. Hallelujah. Assembling ourselves together. Hallelujah. We're going to be the assembly today. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we thank God for you. Amen. Working with us. Amen. And coming out. Amen. And being a part of our amen broadcast. Amen. And make your comments. Put in your prayer requests. Amen. Let us know what to pray for as we are. Whatever's going on in your life. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. He is worthy to be praised, Pastor. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you, Nene. Amen. God bless you, everybody that's coming on. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about, hallelujah, how to assembling ourselves uh, together. Hebrews 10, 23 through 25. Amen. Hebrews 10, 23 through 25. And if you don't have it, amen, amen. We put the scripture on there for you so you can read along with us. Amen. I don't want you to think I... Making this up, hallelujah, it's coming from the Bible. My pastor, Bishop Roberts, would say, amen. Somebody read it in your Bible. Make sure, amen, hallelujah. I'm not making this up. Then have somebody else. You read yours over there. What does it say? Amen. And he tell you, I didn't write it, hallelujah. He called me to preach it, not to write it. Amen, hallelujah. He told Rebecca, write the vision. He told us to preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. Hallelujah, amen. And so we are thankful to the Lord for what he has done. So let's go to the word of God, Hebrews. Tim chapter 23rd verse, and it says, let us uh, hold fast to the profession of our faith without wavering. Amen. For he that is faithful, he is faithful that promised. Amen. God is faithful. Hallelujah. And, and uh, not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. Amen. Let us hold fast. That word let us always, amen, we see that a lot in the Bible. It just gives us, amen, choice, free model, will, amen, to allow, amen. We can't force it. We can't in some ways do things on God, on a God level, hallelujah, but we can let God work in us. He can do both the will and to do of his good pleasure, amen, hallelujah. If we just let this mind be in us, which is also in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, amen. And so we need to come together. Amen. Hallelujah. And allow God to use us. And when he uses us, amen, it's on a divine level and mighty things, mighty works can happen in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. In you and in your life. If we just let go and let God. Hallelujah. You ought to let go and let God have his way. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And so we ought to let go and let God have his way and have the preeminence in our life. Hallelujah. And he can do divine thing miraculous things in our life amen so hebrews 10 23 let us hold fast to the profession of our faith amen don't let nobody amen hallelujah uh, discourage you or change you change your thinking amen on what the word of god says let god be truth and let every man be alive before one jot or tittle my word shall fail the heaven and earth shall pass away believe on me as the scriptures have said and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water and so they want the enemy wants you to doubt the enemy wants you to think it don't work amen but you have to be amen come boldly to the throne of grace you have to amen press toward the mark of a high calling in christ jesus amen you have to fight the good fight of faith hallelujah and hold on amen hallelujah hold on for the ride 
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They tell you, amen, put your seat baths on and amen. Make sure your, your tray tables, your seat and tray tables in the upright position because you're about to take flight. You're about to move. Hallelujah. And then you're moving in God. You have to get yourself positioned and situated and set. Amen. Put your everything on. Amen. Get on that roller coaster. You put the, the harness on. Amen. Or pull the bars down. Hallelujah. And get up there and get ready to ride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because Amen. They're going to have opposition. You're going to have contrariness. You're going to have somebody, no matter what you say, I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. No matter what you say, somebody's going to have, amen, something to say about what you say. Whether they believe it or not, or they just want to be contrary, amen, in opposition to you. Hallelujah. Somebody have something to say. So your faith, amen, the Bible says the trying of your faith work of patience. It teaches you to trust in God and believe in God. Hallelujah. That's why it says without wavering, because you're going to have some waves coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But like a ship that's tossed and driven, how the Lord will make a way somehow. Amen. You can't be wavering. Amen. Hallelujah. Ride the waves. Amen. As they come. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to tilt. Amen. Hang ten or hang five. Whatever you have to do. Hallelujah. Just hold on and don't let go. Amen. Because he's faithful. That promise. Amen. And let. Here go. Let again. Let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. In other words, you don't provoke them to anger. You don't cause your children to wrath. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't cause people to get angry, but show love that they may receive love and they will show love back to you. And we're living in love. We're walking in love. Our relationship is in love and not in uh, adversarial competition. Amen. Or cantankerous. Amen. Or argumentative relationship. Our relationship is love. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, let us consider one another to provoke unto love. Amen. And to good works. Hallelujah. Bring the best. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, was it once that you not once? Yeah. Amen. You brought, you saw the best in me when everybody else around me, amen, could only see the worst. Hallelujah. Let's bring out the best in everybody else. Hallelujah. Let's draw out the best in somebody else. Amen. And not just, amen, tearing people down, but lift them up and build up one another in this most holy faith. Not forsaking. That's our key scripture and the subject we're talking about today. Amen. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Y'all see what's going on in this world. Y'all see what's happening, amen, in this world today, amen. And the more that we see what's happening in this world. The Bible says when you see these things, look up for your redemption draw now. When you see degradation, when you see people leaving their faith, when you see people, amen, going through the things you see them going through today, amen. We lift our heads, amen, hallelujah. Amen. For our redemption draw of now. And yet we come together. Y'all know put people die. They have kind of like vigils and they should. We have memorial service. We do different things when tragedies come. Amen. Hallelujah. To commemorate and to help and support and love one another. Amen. There's a daily. Amen. Hallelujah. Vigil. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Of the return of Christ and who sacrificed his life. There's a there's a weekly vigil. Hallelujah. Amen. And we assemble ourselves. Amen. On some on Sunday, some on Saturday. Amen. Some on Friday or whenever your assembly is. Hallelujah. Get in there. Hallelujah. Amen. Not, not just talking about it, but be about it. Amen. Be about the kingdom. Be about the work of the Lord. Amen. How to assembly to assemble means uh, of people gathered together in one place for a common purpose. That reminds me, amen, of Acts 2. Amen. They was all in one place and with one accord. How in the spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, settling, came in. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's our, that's our theme for 2019. Amen. With one accord in one place. Hallelujah. It's time for the people of God to gather together. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all might have saw the post of Agape 19, 2019. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's coming. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we're going to gather together the assembly. Amen. And assembling ourselves together. 
and coming together, amen, to pray, to come together, hallelujah, to work together as a people of God. For he said, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then shall I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin and I'll heal the land. Hallelujah. So you can hear some things and some tools, amen, hallelujah, and some, some different things that you can use in your life to make your life better. Amen. There's a lot of great gospel being preached, a lot of great word that's going out there into the world. Hallelujah. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with watching it online. There's nothing wrong with getting your word or your spiritual, amen, uh, um, uh, uplifting thought or statement in the morning. Amen. Your affirmation for the day. I don't have a problem with that. Hallelujah. Amen. But oh, but there's there's a time when we come out of our houses and come out of our place and come together as a people. Hallelujah. Amen. And worship the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In a lot of ways, we slack off of us. Amen. Fellowshipping one with another. Hallelujah. Yes, you can do it at home. Absolutely. Amen. But one can chase a thousand, two can put two thousand to flight. And so when we come together as a people of God, amen, we're stronger, we are better. And I tell you, amen, I'm of the opinion, y'all can di differ with me. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I have Bible to back it up. Amen. I'm of the opinion that when, when believers in Christ Jesus work together, we are unstoppable. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When we work together, Hallelujah. In that one spirit. Hallelujah. We are, as a people of God, unstoppable. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we have to just believe and come together. Hallelujah. We believe the same thing. We hope the same thing. We stand on the same word. Amen. And we press together. I, I didn't say we were perfect. I'm not saying we're going to all agree. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. So you got a reason. You got a reason. Yeah, you got a reason. But we come together and put our reasonings together. Amen. Hallelujah. And we come out with one purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. With one thought. And one consistent word, amen, hallelujah. I love my pastor, Bishop Roberts, hallelujah, because what he would do when he had his administration and preachers and everybody, he would gather them together, amen, hallelujah, and his leaders. And he would say, let's, let's, he would throw everything on the table. Y'all express yourself because when we come out this meeting, we're going to come out one, amen. We're, we're going to come out saying one thing, hallelujah, amen. And he would st sit there till we, till we come together, amen, hallelujah, and, and, and be one. Amen. And so it's time for us as people and believers, we might differ on little things, but let's work together on what we agree upon. Amen. And stop fighting on what we disagree upon. Amen. For heaven is one. Heaven is one. God, he, amen. Hallelujah. It's holiness and righteousness and peace in God. Hallelujah. Purity. Amen. Hell is one. Now, Satan and all his uh demons and imps hallelujah they are one hallelujah here in hell hallelujah up in heaven hallelujah heaven is one itself hallelujah. our problem is how do we try to mix amen heaven and hell here hallelujah but they, they even though they might look like they are both here it's two separate entities hallelujah amen you got the light of god you got the darkness amen of satan hallelujah and so we here on earth we try to mix these and try to have both amen intermingling but the, as much as i try to put them together hallelujah they're still two separate entities hallelujah amen hallelujah and so the believers in christ jesus we need to become one hallelujah and work together and come together amen in the house of the lord i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord amen hallelujah and so we got to come together we gather together to ask the lord's blessings and so we want to praise and magnify and lift up the holy name of jesus hallelujah amen and so uh the oneness of heaven is trying to is, is standing on the principles of god amen and 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 the darkness of hell amen is, is tearing at us amen trying to destroy us Amen. The thief comes not, but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I am come. Jesus said, I am here that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Assembling of ourselves together. Hallelujah. Amen. Together. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If my people that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. Amen. We work together as one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Hallelujah. We can. Amen. Uh, there's nothing that we can't accomplish. Amen. I say two people would have had the Holy Ghost. There's no problem, no situation that cannot be resolved because it's one spirit. 
Amen. And usually what they disagree upon has nothing to do with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. It's some particular item or person or this, hallelujah, that they're arguing over. Amen. Or they're disagreeing about. Amen. Hallelujah. He's using that with the, but if they have that same spirit, amen, there's an opportunity. I'm not saying it always happen, but there's an opportunity, amen, to come together and agree. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, amen. Let's come together, saints of God. If you belong to a church, you haven't been there in a while. Amen. Get get back. Amen. In the in the house of God and praise and magnify his holy name. Amen. With the other saints as we gather together as the people of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, family. Amen. Just wanted to drop that for you. Amen. And share with you. Amen. Hallelujah. How we as God's people can work together and assimilate together. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, mama. Amen. Put in your prayer request. Amen. Yes, I indeed let go and let God have his way in my life. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sister Faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you, everybody. Amen. Octavia, God bless you. Hallelujah. Barnes, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, mama. God bless you, preacher. God bless you, everybody that's here with us. Amen. Put in your prayer requests, your praise reports. Amen. And allow God to, amen, bless you and move in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Assemble together. Amen. Hallelujah. Weddings and funerals. Seem like it was a tragedy or a wedding. Amen. Hallelujah. Look like, amen. Hallelujah. We come together. Amen. But it should be or something happens in the community. Like I said before, amen. We'll, we'll come together. Amen. But let's be together instead of just coming together. Let us be together and work together. Amen. As a people of God, let the, let, let the, uh, the, the strong bear the infirmity of the weak. Do good unto all men, especially them of the household of faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, amen. We thank God for you. Father, we thank you for this day that you've made. We're going to rejoice and be glad. And we ask for your divine hand upon your people. Bless our hearts, minds, souls, and bodies. God, help us to work together, build up one another, encourage one another, show love one toward another. Hallelujah, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, show the light of God and let the light of God shine in darkness and let darkness comprehend it not. Bless your people everywhere. Lord God, you said, whosoever called upon the the name of the Lord shall be saved. Somebody in need of salvation today, Lord God. Somebody in need of healing. Whatever it is, God, hallelujah, you shall supply all our need according to your riches and glory. Bless us as your people, Lord God, hallelujah. Help us to honor you and show forth the praises of him who has brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. And we thank you. We praise and magnify your holy name. We speak healing. We speak deliverance to your people, God. Whatever the need is, we speak deliverance and healing to your people, Lord God. The coming together, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gathering of your people, Lord God, as you told Ezekiel, can these bones live? Hallelujah. He said, Lord, you know. Amen. Yeah, I know. That's why I asked you. Hallelujah. Do you know? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I already know that they can live. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. Do you know that they can live? Prophesy. Preacher, hallelujah, prophesy to these bones. Do your job. Hallelujah. And the people have come together under the word of God, not under the dogma, not under the religion, not under the, the building, amen, of a church, amen, hallelujah, but they come together under the banner of Jehovah Nisi, who is our banner, hallelujah. We thank you and praise and magnify your holy name. You've been gathering us together. We've been running and scattering ourselves, but you've been trying to keep us together as that good shepherd leading the sheep of God. Hallelujah. We thank you. You, Lord, we praise and magnify your holy name and help us, Lord God, to walk where you say walk, amen, and lead us, amen, beside the still waters and restore our soul. Lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Hallelujah, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, let us find pasture. Let us find nourishment, Lord God, like that tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in this season. Leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. Hallelujah, Lord God. And so we praise and magnify and lift up. Help us as the godly people. Amen. Those that are not even perfect, but striving, that's pressing toward the mark of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Lord God, help us, Lord Jesus. O God of our salvation, for the glory of thy name, and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. So we, thy people, and sheep of thy pasture, will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise through all generations. Bless, touch, and deliver right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Bless, hallelujah, and we shall be blessed. Keep us, and we shall be kept. 
accept these and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name. I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. Amen. You can give God praise, honor, and glory for the things that he has done because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. And we praise and magnify his holy name. Amen. You can give him praise. You can give him glory. He's your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are his people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you are allowed to give him glory. Hallelujah. Yes, you are allowed to give him glory. Hallelujah. Amen. My way of third, we keep praying, healing in Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Alexis. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to pray for you. Amen. And that therapy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And always, I tell saints all the time, if you got to go through sur surgery or therapy or process that they taking you through, amen, even a series of surgeries, I said, well, at least they got, uh, you have something that they can work on. Amen. Because there's a whole lot of people that have, amen, inoperable, amen, hallelujah, diseases and problems wherein, amen, there's nothing that the doctor can do. So anytime they're still working on you, you can go get checkups and do different things. Amen. And get her, go through your, amen, your little, amen, <laughs> um, a tune up. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever it may be. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise and honor for that. Amen. Because there's things that the doctors can't do. Amen. There's nothing we can do. They, people have heard that. Amen. But there's nothing God can't do. Hallelujah. Amen. Put your trust in Jesus and everything will be all right. Hallelujah. You'll make your pathways easy and your burdens will be light. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you're casting them all on him. Amen. When they come, you just cast them on him for he care for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Keep us in prayer as we continually pray for you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have not repented of your sins, amen. The Bible declares that we ought to repent and be baptized, every one of us, for the remission of our sins, and we shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Make Jesus your portion. Receive him. Amen. Today. Receive the Spirit of God today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we call it. Amen. Old school said Holy Ghost. That's what they put in the in the King in the King James. I'm going to say KJV. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They use the word ghost, not like a spirit. They but they use the ghost like the spirit. Ha ah, God, thank you. Hallelujah. Like the Holy Ghost, the Paraclete. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. It wasn't talking about any other ghost. It was talking about the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are grateful. Amen. Hallelujah. That we can receive. Amen. Asking and shall be given. Seeking you shall find. Knocking the door shall be opened. It's just good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Amen. You have not because you ask not. Amen. So just call on the name of the Lord. Amen. And receive him into your heart today. Amen. As a believer. Find a good church that's preaching Jesus. That's preaching. Amen. Righteousness and holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No, don't, don't placate. Amen. And let you stay where you are. Amen. Every day with Jesus should be sweet. He should be growing in the grace and the knowledge of the truth. It should be some little growth where you are. Amen. It should be levels. Amen. I, I'm not where I was last year at this time. Hallelujah. Amen. And as we get ready to enter into this new year, amen, set ourselves to, amen, be better every day. Try to be better. Try to improve ourselves. Hallelujah. To be closer to the Lord. Amen. And improve our lives. Amen. There's nothing wrong with working on who you are. Amen. I don't have a problem with New Year's resolutions. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing wrong with improving yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Making things better in your life. Amen. So thank you so much. Thank you all who have been given to the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful to you. Amen. We were really, really blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The first part of the conference. Amen. Helped us out greatly. And so we're thankful to all of you who, amen, gave toward that and still giving. Amen. Hallelujah. We in November and November has to, amen, some, some requirements before it ends. Amen. Hallelujah. In a couple of weeks. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so, amen. What you could do to help us, amen, through this next month will be a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if you decided to give, Pastor, I'll just give 
ten dollars a month. Amen. Hallelujah. That'll be fine. Amen. Five dollars a month. Hallelujah. Twenty five, thirty, whatever it may be. Amen. Hallelujah. Just once a month, I'm going to I'm going to send this to you, Pastor. Amen. Well, that to me is to the church. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. No, it's not for Pastor Fields. Amen. It's for Agape Worldwide Ministries here in Springfield, Virginia. Amen. Hallelujah. And so all that they can thank you so much and i thank you for what you already do for this church and this ministry amen like i said i put the new had some new amen um uh, donations and so we put those in the prayer book amen and i'm praying for you in your life amen and if you don't give us a dollar i'm still praying for you amen in your life i just want to acknowledge all those that have been given and i thank you so much for what you do you making a difference amen in the lives of many Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for those that have been coming out. Amen. Coming by and checking us out. Amen. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. I'm so grateful for the increase. And I thank God for the increase. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. God is blessing this church and this ministry. And I'm so grateful for what he is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank God for that. Hallelujah. We, not, we acknowledge all of you. Amen. Prayer partners and give and givers to this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. After four star surgeries, I can walk. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever needs to be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Whatever needs to be done. Amen. God be with you in your recovery. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And we'll God be all the all of us as we draw nigh to him and he to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Amen. Every Tuesday through Friday, noonday prayer. Wednesday night, tonight, amen, hallelujah, is our Bible class talking about assembly. Amen. I will be honored to have you here with us tonight, amen, at 7 for our Bible class tonight. Even noonday prayer, you're welcome to come by, amen, and join us in prayer. Used to we have those that was looking for work. We would do like job summits and help people, amen, uh, apply for different positions, amen. If you need that, you can come and pray with us. And after the prayer, amen, we can uh, see we can do assist you. You don't have computer, amen, hallelujah, amen. We can help you with that as well, amen, hallelujah. And so we thankful to that. Those that don't have a place to live, hallelujah, amen. We let them come and get warmed up in the winter and cool down in the summer. Amen. And we had Bible class and different stuff. And so you're welcome to come by and pray with us. Amen. We'll pray for your employment. And you can stop through. Amen. At noontime. Amen. Um, Tuesday through through uh, Friday. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'll uh, be honored to have you here with us to assemble with us. And on Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, we worship in the Lord. Amen. We come together as believers and saints. And so just consider Agape. If you don't have a church home, I will be honored to be your pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. 2019. Amen. Agape 2019. That first Sunday in January. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on out. And we're doing our consecrational offering for that as well. Amen. Our New Year's consecration that we do. Amen. Our consecration for the new year. Our statement of faith. Amen. On 2019. And if you want an envelope or you want to give toward that, you can do so as well. I'm going to post that on God Bless Agape. That's our giving page. That's on Facebook. God Bless Agape. Amen. You can do that or you can do it here as well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much. I love you. Amen. God bless your family. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and our closing scriptures, 1 Timothy First chapter 17, verse now to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, the honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 F&G Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.